And we are back fighting for a trip to the Final Four, Arthur Ashe Stadium, the largest tennis arena in the world, Sabalenka, Krajikova. This has not been an entertaining match so far. Uh, we kind of knew that Sabalenka would just hit her way through Krajikova with the injury. It's very evident Krajikova is not 100%. She doesn't even look like she's 80%. She's in pain. She's uh, She looks sad. She's making sad faces to her coach. But she's out there fighting, and we have to give her credit for that. The Muguruza incident, listen, uh, she was completely within the rules. Uh, they should possibly take a look at a rule change or implement something that can help the players with their timing. It's no different from instant replay in football or basketball. It takes away teams' momentum, and um, it can really change the course of a game. In these high-level sports with these high-level athletes, momentum is everything. In a sport like basketball, where the other team gets some momentum, you see uh, scoring runs and droughts You know that are purely solely based on momentum. The same with tennis. You have players that can run off you know, double breaks, five games in a row uh, based off of momentum. So that's a rule change they should possibly look at. But Krachikova won the match against um, Garbenia. She was leading for much of the match. It was a blowout. It wasn't even close. So um, we have to just admit that. Uh, she is a warrior. Krachikova is fighting through the pain. Uh, we do not see her advancing through this match. Sabalenka will advance. And it's going to be a great matchup against Layla Fernandez. And we have to be honest with ourselves. Can Layla Fernandez return Sabalenka's firepower? That's going to be one for the ages. You're going to have to get your popcorn. The Cinderella story is beautiful. We'd love to see Layla make the finals. But we'd also love to see Sabalenka get her first major. That's, that's something she's missing. Sabalenka needs a major under her belt. Again, we'd love to see Layla Fernandez get a major. That would be a great story, Cinderella story. Everyone would love to hear it. But I don't think Layla is going to be able to return that firepower. We're talking about serves of 120 miles an hour. That is going to be amazing. If Layla can win that matchup, whew, more power to her. And even if she, let's say she does get past Sabalenka, then she's got to deal with maybe Emma. Oh, my goodness. Pliskova, Sakari, Bensik, it gets too tough and amazing. We got good tennis coming up this week, this weekend. Get your popcorn. Comment below. Krachikova, is she a warrior for hanging in there? Come on, guys. Let's give Krachikova a round of applause. She's doing her best here. You know, Muguruza is a great champion, but I, I think she lost fair and square. What do you guys think? Comment below.